Okay, this is just a quick video on um, completing the square. Okay, because I had a few people asking me about it and asking me to go through it again. Um, I think it's important. It's one of those ones that can sneak in and it can be worth 10 marks, but a lot of people just not have a, a foggiest of where to go with it. So usually the question is going to appear something like, um, I suppose, let's try and visualize a question like this it's usually going to be in the form of um let me think try and find a good one here um, yeah in the form of something like this um uh, x minus a to be squared plus b r a bracket x minus b b squared plus c so usually they'll ask you yeah, to and this is obviously coming from a question that looks like this look x squared plus ax plus b or something like that you know so this is your original it's your normal quadratic expression and they want it in this form that's really what they're asking for so usually they see a kind of an, an, a, a weirder form of a quadratic it's usually a, comp, a complete the square what they want you to do. So let's go straight into it and we'll try a few. So we'll take three examples, I suppose three different types. And um, let's go with a very obvious one. So we want to complete the square on this one. Now usually when you're completing the square on these ones, you have to first of all, if they want an A value or something outside, if they want to factorize something out, then you have to factorize something out. So that's our first case factorize out. So I take the three out, I left with x squared minus one x plus two over three. Okay, so that's our first step. So that will get your marks straight away. Okay, now secondly, and this is where you're going to get it tricky, we're going to keep going with this three outside until the very end. So inside here we're going to build the rest of our completing the square. So this remains, so does this, but here's the trick. You're going to add to this something squared, and you're going to take away the same thing squared, and this still remains. So this will be the same for every time you do a completion of square. You'll do this little algorithm. That stays, that stays. You add something squared, you take away the same thing squared, and then you add the constant. Okay, And what you're going to see is that, a different color here, these string things will form the squared value and these two things will form the new constant value. So that's what's going to happen. So these will be separated out. So let's see what happens next. We take the coefficient of x, whatever it is, including the sign, okay? And, and this is the important bit, okay? You half it. Or you multiply it by half, or you divide it by two, whichever way you want to think about how you'd have something. Okay, so if that's minus one, then it's minus one over two. Okay, so this is also minus one over two. So that's the important thing. Now you filled it in. So how do I put this into its new form? Right, well, this is the cool thing. You take the x and you take whatever number is inside before you squared it. So in this case, it's just going to be x and a negative a half. And that becomes everything that's in green. You can multiply it out to check, but look, square the left, square the right, minus a half squared is the same as minus a half squared, which is plus a quarter, okay? Multiply them together, x times minus a half is minus a half x, and double it, minus a half x double, you get minus x. So this is all that. We still have that. Now, we just need our calculator to work out this. That's minus a half squared is plus a quarter. So it's minus a quarter plus two thirds. I'm going to get this on the calculator because I'm not going to make a mistake. It's five over 12. Okay, plus five over 12. And our final step then is multiply in the tree. So we multiply the tree by that. And then I multiply the tree by that. That is completed. Now, what can I do with this? 
Well, these two numbers, whatever is in there, okay, whatever is in there, the opposite of it. So if it's minus a half, then a half with 5 over 4 is the minimum value of that graph, the minimum point. Okay? So it's the opposite of whatever that number is. If that was plus 2, it would be minus 2. It's minus a half, plus a half. With whatever that is, is your minimum point. Okay? Let's do another one. Right. Same thing again. Go a bit faster this time. 3x squared minus 6x minus 1. Same thing again. Factorize out to 3. We're left with x squared minus 2x minus a third. Okay. Same thing again. 3. Leave that. Leave that. We're going to add something squared. Take away something squared. And then the third is there. So remember, these three things are going to form my bracket with the squared. These two things will form my new constant. So let's do this then. So take the coefficient of x, negative 2, divided by 2. So that's negative 2 over 2. Same here, negative 2 over 2. So negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Okay? So that's my new, let's take that with negative one. Okay, now negative two over two squared is positive one, that's a negative. So negative one, negative one third is negative four of three. Multiply the three in. Three times that is minus four. So in this case, our minimum point is going to be, change that to a 1, leave that as it is. Okay. Now we'll try another one. Nice. We'll get a bit tougher on this one. Okay. we go uh, 4x squared plus x plus 3. So, first things first, get the 4 out. x squared plus x over 4 plus 3 over 4. Next thing we do, so what's going to happen here? Right, so the coefficient of this is a quarter. So, Divide that by 2 is an 8, so that's 1 over 8 squared, 1 over 8 squared. So that's going to be x plus 1 over 8 to be squared. Now, let's say that that's going to be 1 over 64 minus 1 over 64 plus 3 quarters. Okay, get a calculator on this one. I am coming out at... 47 over 64. Multiply the 4 in. To be squared. Squared. Now, 4 into that is 47 over 16. And find your minimum point then. Minus 1 over 8. 47 over 16. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Okay.